Hey traders, a very warm welcome to you. Okay, another question for you is, is short-term trading or long-term trading better? Now, I've got to be careful here because I'm very, very biased. I'm a short-term trader. Um, I was a very, very active scalper, very, very aggressive. Backed off that, so not so frequently scalping now, but still a day trader, still get involved a lot in the markets when the conditions are right for me as opposed to sitting there all day long, every day. Much more relaxed now in terms of waiting for the right opportunity, but still, I'm a very, very short-term trader. I will hold stuff for a few days when the opportunity is there, but for me, it's day trading. So I've got to be careful, I've got to look at this from a complete neutral perspective and try and give you guys an opinion that is completely unbiased. So let's try. So short-term trading. Let's have a look at the advantages of short-term trading. The advantage of short-term trading is that, you know, you have the, you don't have any overnight, well, Okay, I'm gonna say short-term trading as in day trading versus swing trading. That's kind of, because I think that the difference between holding for three days or three weeks isn't really that much different. But day trading versus um, you know, swing trading, there's a bit of a difference there. So short-term trading, the advantage of course is that, listen, you come into the day with a fresh mind, you've got no positions, you've got no baggage, you've got no preconceived things, you're coming in. If you see an opportunity, you can take it. If you don't, you don't which also is a negative because let's say, let's face it, you come in for the day and you're hoping to make some money and the market just does this. You can't do anything about it, you can't force it. However, if you're already long and it's say, it's say it gapped up and it did that, um, you're sitting on a profit, you've made some money from the overnight. So that's the advantage of long-term trading is that you can make moves based on the gaps. You can make, you can make sorry, make money based on the gaps, the overnight moves, the stuff where you don't normally get involved in it. Now, let's look at it in terms of um, money. I would say that a long-term trader will probably make more than a short-term trader. Let me just put a caveat to that before everyone's shouting at the screen. In certain conditions, you know what? In certain conditions, it is perfect for short-term traders. Absolutely perfect. Do you know why? Because you get gaps up, they come down again, it whips around. Long-term traders are getting stopped out, swing tra traders are getting moaning, they're crying about it. You know, short-term traders are loving it, scalping it short, scalping it long, making it, getting in tune with the market, grabbing money out of the market. It's brilliant. And that works really, really well for short-term traders. But sometimes the market's just kind of plodding, you know, every day it plods up. Very, very slow intraday range, nothing going on, but it generally just moves up. That's a long-term trader's dream. They're long, they're swing trading, they make a little bit each day, and it's frustrating for a short-term trader. So in those conditions, a long-term trader is going to make more because they can add to their position, they can build the position, nice, slow, steady bull market, uh, they're going to make a lot more money. Short-term trade, if the market conditions aren't there, you just can't make the money. However, if they are there, you are going to kill it compared to the long-term trading. Now, guys, I've traded through a bear market, and I can tell you a bear market is a great time to be a short-term trader, a great time, because the volatility is great, the volatility is really good, and you've got that downward pressure and fear, you've got people pulling money out of the market, which makes it you know, far more of an edge as a short-term trader um, than a long-term trader. Okay, anything else we can think of, let's have a look. So from a long-term trading perspective. Okay, short-term trading, you have to be a little bit more disciplined and a little bit quicker on your feet. Markets moving around, you wanna always go long or short. Long-term trading, you obviously can take your time to make your decisions and you can put them on, you put your orders in, and you can forget about it. Which is one of the good things, you know, with long-term trading. Short-term trading, it ties you to the screen. You know, you are at the screen. If you're not the screen, you're not making money. Okay, and that is a really, really big disadvantage, guys, is that, you know, as soon as you're not at the screen, whether it's because you can't be there for other commitments or whether it's health or whatever, your money stops. Whereas a long-term trader, if you've got the right positions on, You've done your work, you'll let them mature for you and they will pay you and pay you and pay you while you continue to be right. So that is a massive, massive advantage with being a long-term trader. My advice, if I was giving advice to a brand new trader, I would say, listen, try to become a swing trader. Try to become a swing trader. However, if your personality really doesn't like it, then Short-term trading is absolutely fine. There's money to be made there, good money to be made in short-term trading. But I would say, you know, from a perspective of giving yourself more time and perspective of less risk, potentially, I'm very careful when I say that, 
but long term trading swing term trading swing trading even on a short time frame like a few day move is if you can do that i mean i look at my performance and i i openly admit i am not the best swing trader however i consider myself a pretty good day trader i'm quite good at grabbing things out the market um chunks of move from the market, reading short-term things, being aggressive when I need to be and taking money that way. I'm not as good as picking direction for multiple days or multiple weeks or multiple months. Um, and I openly admit that. So I stick to my strengths and I stay here, I'm a short-term trader. However, if you are and you can nurture it, and you can be good, then swing trading, I think, is probably um, a better bet for you. But some people just can't. And in which case, just more, just really double down on your strengths. And if you find yourself really, really good at day trading, forget about trying to be a swing trader. Just get extra aggressive on being the best day trader you can be. All right, guys, let me know your thoughts on that. Short-term trading or long-term trading, which one's better? Take care. Bye-bye.